Malachi 3.10, I will open up the windows of heaven that you do not have room enough to receive it. When we started Ladyville Highlights in 2017, and we decided that we wanted to start to give back to people, we stored our stuff outside in barrels on the tarp. However, we realized that it didn't help much with preventing water and sun, so the tarp wasn't working so well, so we decided to do a shed. Thanks to you, our friends, supporters, and donors at home and abroad who assisted us in getting the shed up whereby we would be able to properly secure and store your blessings sent from abroad, your donations, your items, your clothes, your footwear, the pampas, the school supplies, the medical supplies, everything that came to us. We made a way that we were able to secure it, where it will be safe, uh, away from rain, away from sun, and so that we'll be able to continue to service the people of Belize throughout the villages, within the city and the, and the various districts. We will be able to pass on your blessings to the people who need it and the people who need it the most. We believe with the shed, it will, it will have definitely eliminated the water issue on the ground, whereby when we need to go and do sorting, we wouldn't have to deal with water on the, on the, on the ground. And so we'll be able to sort in peace and, you know, pack the van in peace because we had the shed that would have been able to help us. We had no idea that we would have grown to the point whereby we would have definitely outgrown this shed in regards with stuff coming in from the States and items and boxes and sometimes you get donations of bed, we get donations of sofa, we get donations of very huge items which we would give away everything that we receive free of cost to those persons in need and so eventually we realized that we eventually had outgrown the shed not only that the shed had started to take water when it rains all that water would pour down and then we would have to lift up these barrels and boxes and place them on pallets so as not to have water ruin or destroy anything On a rainy day, this is what we would experience on a normal rainy day. Then there are rainy days when it not only rains, but the wind blows the, some of the water in and splashes of water would get on barrels. Thank God we have the troponin still. And yet, um, we would have to put everything on sticks and pallets so as not to get them destroyed by the water that comes in the yard and runs down. And so we had we thank for our donors who sent us these tarps. So whenever the rain would come like this and sometimes it comes harder, we have to fight to secure our stuff, our donations sent by you from the States because we believe that it's your hard working money that came. So what we did was that we decided to build a storeroom. And from last year, we have been working on this storeroom silently. All right, every time we get a little assistance, we would put it towards building the storeroom. And so from last year, piece by piece, slowly but surely, we built a storeroom to store God's supplies because these things were sent by you with the good hearts, and so we call them. God supplies. And so while we're building this tour room, Mr. Courtney, who was the only person building this thing, one person, and that is the reason why it took so long because one individual, piece by piece by piece, every so often when he has time, he comes. Sometimes we work late in the night and we work on God's tour room. And so we are almost 
95% complete still have a little ways to go this was when he was doing the flooring all right and while he was doing the flooring you know was packing the shelves with some of the grocery items you had received from New York City because when we do our next village giveaway we can be able to successfully select items from off the shelves and pack them in the van to take to you the people of Belize with these grocery items these clothing these shoes these footwear these adult pampas school supplies whatever it is this is God's store room where items sent by godly people will be stored to give to people in need and so we give God thanks that yes it took us a long long while it was only Mr. Courtney one man and myself helping him out and for days and months when we had free time we nail a couple board we wait we nail some more board we wait we nail zinc we wait but piece by piece it has now come together as we continue this wonderful work in bringing blessings to God's people God's needy people all over this country and we do this because of your generous donations your clothing that you sent your footwear that you sent every item that you sent is being used and to bless a less fortunate individual in need and so we thank you guys we thank God for the ability to be able to work on this structure for months on end that is the reason why we haven't been doing Saturday nights because sometimes we are tired we are tired and so but now we are almost there we are almost complete your donations will be kept safe dry and properly secure until we are ready to distribute it all right so we give God thanks to give him the glory because great things he has done and great things he will continue to do as we do for his people as we do for the far unfortunate as we do for those who are struggling to help make their burden light and bring a smile on the faces of those who are so downhearted depressed sad we will give people hope we will bring a change in their lives